Alright, welcome back for the next update video. This is a somewhat two-part update video. Uh, this is 603, 14, and 15, but 15 was only a bug fix. This one mainly is a lot of chain, a new auto crafter, which I have the stuff here to make. <coughs> With the auto crafter, there's all of these new um, components like the robotic arm, the electric piston, the electric motor, um, there's also all of these tips which do not use one of these tips outside of an auto crafter. Because even though they say they have an infinite durability in the auto crafter, they have a single durability in a regular crafting table. Because I made a mistake and used the screwdriver. But basically these are very robust to make. They need, all of them need two advanced circuits. Whatever kind of tip it is, you have a chromium wrench. A stainless steel screwdriver, the saw, a tungsten carbide hammerhead, stainless steel plates, a tungsten steel chisel. Um, this one does not have a use yet. This is a bronze sword. This one is a steel rod. This is a drill, which also doesn't have a use yet. Then you have a file, which is just the conveyor and dust. Uh, let me bring up the AutoCraft page here. And you'll see that the AutoCrafter comes in its four, five, five usual flavors. Low voltage, medium voltage, high voltage, extreme voltage, and high voltage. Um, insane. Yeah, that's it. So this is your crafting recipe. It uses robust for the machine casing and then basic or advanced or basic good advanced elite and this should be master and then you know your titanium chromium uh, stainless steel, galvanized steel, and then aluminum for your low voltage. And then your cables are going to be whatever that tier is as well. And then these robot arms, which are still just as much of a pain in the butt to make as they were in Greg Tech 5. The motors themselves have changed, and so has the pistons. They now use a curved plate rod, magnetic rod. Then you have your copper wires and your cables, and that makes your motor. Uh, when you go up to medium voltage, you then use 2x copper steel magnetic rod. Then this is galvanized. And copper cables. Your HV is going to end up being still magnetic steel rod, but now stainless steel on the ends. Still, for some reason, 2x copper instead of 4 like it was in Greg Tech 5, but then you're using gold cables. And then you have the titanium level, which is the 4x annealed copper now, platinum cables, and titanium on the end. And they've been added for at least those five. I don't believe the ones above it are in here yet, but those five have been added. And then, like I said, you got all these different tips. Uh, you also have the pistons, which are a little bit different now. They use whatever level motor just like before but now they use two plates instead of three two rods two screws 
and a small gear. And then the conveyor module is actually the exact same recipe as Greg Tech 5 with two motors, six rubber sheets, and whatever cable you need for that thing. So we put together an auto crafter today. I had uh, Invisix, Crazy, and Shadow helping me make all this stuff. And it took us quite a while to do it. So let's take a look at this thing. It obviously needs power. We can see on the top there. So we're going to have to give this thing power. And it looks like you're going to insert a blueprint. So you're going to have to make blueprints for this. Now, I'm guessing it doesn't actually have a slot to put all these in. I was hoping it was like the other, um, like this here, where it had like these kind of slots here that would hold all the tools, but apparently it does not. This will be the crafting grid for what it's going to make, and I'm guessing this is where it gets deposited. Uh, as usual, I have not checked this out at all. This is actually the first time I've seen it or at least the inside of it so let's see energy in is 32 top or bottom put items in the top automatically or can be hoppered or whatever in the left items come out automatically from the bottom or can be pulled out from the right fluids will go in the top and fluids will come out the bottom so we can just put this on any uh, bat box that we have around here. And I have this one that's left over from me taking out the sifter I had here. So let's go ahead and put that on there. And you'll see it lights up. And I got an auto machine switch here. So let's shove that on there and that'll turn it off. So it's not sucking power. And then for now, I'm going to shove all of these in here. We made all of the tips except for the ones that currently don't have a use. And the chisel because I didn't want to make tungsten steel today after all the other stuff I made and because I'm not making a whole lot of molds so I really don't need one for it so I'm gonna store them in there for right now which this will not work but you're basically gonna to want to make one of these auto crafters for each thing that you're going to be auto crafting so you wouldn't actually be storing them in there I still think it would be neat to have it so it does but let's go to the actual change log here and the auto crafter which auto crafts auto crafts most regular crafting recipes but a fair warning now all recipes are auto craftable for example, most of the recipes using hand tools are not, and this is intended. Use the dedicated machines, which I didn't want to make obsolete, that create things like planks or buckets, etc., and not the auto crafter. In, auto, in order to select a recipe, you have to make a blueprint of the exact items used inside the recipe even NBT has to match in an advanced crafting table and then place that in the special slot in the middle of the GUI there is a set of robot arm tips which have to be used instead of hand tools in non blacklisted recipes you also have to specify those in the blueprint those tips will never get used up 
if you use the auto crafter. But he didn't add that they will get used up with one use if you do use them in the regular crafting table. Which would have been a nice thing to tell me. Uh, so, basically what I'm going to use it for first, I'm not going to need any of these tips, is I'm going to use it to make these motors right here. Because you're going to end up probably using a lot of them. Alright, so, not really going to go through doing it. The blueprints are pretty easy to make. Uh, it's just a piece of uh, lapis. I'll look it up here to show you, but it's basically blue dye and a piece of paper in a bath. Uh, blueprint, not black print. So, Greg Tech blueprint here so you just put some kind of dye in there you can use the water mix dye the chemical dye indigo or blue flower dye so literally any regular blue and a piece of paper in a bath and that should be able to be done in the um, pot here So let's go ahead and make one. I should have plenty of lapis around here. And I do. And I just have to break this pot to get the stuff out of it there. And then we'll put... Um, oh, I got to mix it with water. And then that should automatically go up there. Because I got a uh, gate on there. And then we'll grab a piece of paper. And where's my die? Alright, that's going in. Why is the die not? Oh, I didn't mix it. There we go. So there's the die and there's my empty blueprint. And there's still extra blue left over apparently. So we just put that in there. Build the recipe we want. You know, if you're going to make a LV, you would do this right here. And then, uh, let's see. I don't have stuff to make it, but put them on there and then hit allow automation. No, that's not it. I thought there was an actual thing to. Oh, shift click it. Okay. So basically, if you want to make that, you just shift click that and then. Take that over here, throw it in here in the right spot, and if you take the tips out, can I put these over here? No. And then I give it the stuff, it'll make it. So that's that part. Now let me bring this back up here. Um, the electric. There's an electric mixer, loom, and sifter now that are added. But they have a 50% efficiency, meaning every recipe takes twice as long with them while costing exactly as much EU. So you can have a loom. You have your regular loom that we've always had before. And then you have an electric version. The electric version is going to use the electric compact motors, rods, and hammer and wrench, where the regular one is bronze and bronze gears instead of the motors. You know, same going up your tiers here. There is also sifter. 
So you have your regular sifter, which uses fine wire, bronze rods, and bronze springs. Or the electric one, which uses fine aluminum wires, aluminum rods, and two compact electric pistons. So it's better off to use this one, but this one will only take up one block. But it'll take more power to do it, or longer time, I guess, to do it. And then you also have, I said sifter, oh, the canner. So, that's scanner. Oh, canning. Wait a minute, that can't be right. Hold on, let me check the thing. Uh, da -dun -da -dun. Where to go? Oh, mixer, not canner. Goofy. All right, mixer. So there you go. You have your bronze mixer, which is stainless steel plates, stainless steel rotor, bronze rod, bronze casing, and then you have your LV, which is the exact same thing except it now has the compact down there motor instead of a rod so they will only take up one block like all the rest of the electric machines but they're going to be 50 percent as efficient um the other thing that was added or one thing that was changed is that the mixing bowl and bath pots can no longer do recipes which output low density gases that are lighter than air or high temperature stuff. So if any of the recipes for the bathing pot, especially the ones with crushed ore and sulfuric acid that puts out... Uh, hydrogen things like that that are lighter than air will have to be done in a regular bath not in this bathing pot same thing if there's any for the mixing bowl you will actually have to use a mixer for it um, as we've already talked about he added the um, electrical components the uh, motors, the pistons, and the conveyor module, these are not covers. They do not work as covers currently. They may in the future, but they do not as of now. Um, not all tiers are available to craft. Due to lack of certain required items, but tiers from LV to IV are all craftable, as I showed earlier. He added a paint removal spray, so you can remove paint from machines and CF foam and stuff like that. Which I'll look up here in a second. Uh, he changed the canner and other directly electronic machines to use the new electronic components. So, the canner is going, oh, in the wrong thing. The canner is now going to be a bit more expensive. Good thing I didn't get it made yet, huh? So, now it's going to need, oh, that's the scanner. The scanner needs the conveyor module now the canning because I have to keep messing that up the canning machine will now use the pumps that were made which I still can't stand that they're not covers I so badly want a, co a pump cover so the LVs are now not tin like they were in Greg Tech 5 they're aluminum 
because it's electric and that's what all LV things are. But basically pretty close to the same recipe. You got your rubber rings. It now uses two screws and a curved plate still has the rotor. So make sure you check your machine recipes if they're electric. Um, did the electrolyzer change? Uh, let's see. Nope, the electrolyzer is still the same. Platinum wires, tin cables, and the machine. So one other change here, and we'll be all done, and that is he fixed the sulfuric acid and aqua regia bath recipes requiring energy despite the bath recipes not being supported to do that it was a copy paste issue from bring it in from Greg Tech 5 I guess or wherever he copied and pasted it from so you're things here in the bath that take uh, sulfuric acid and whatever will not say a uh, requirement of EU anymore and that should be it for this week's update video a little bit late this week but um, I had some problems with my test server um, that I had to get worked out Thanks to Greg help for helping me figure out that it was my issue. And I got that all rebuilt. And then we spent probably three or four hours today building these components and uh, the auto crafter. The auto crafter was easy. The tips and things were a pain in the butt. But we got it all done. And have a good one, everybody. I don't know if any other kind of hidden changes this week that came in. If you know of any that I missed, uh, leave them in the comments. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know. Let Greg know in the forums or in his dev channel. And I'll be happy to answer them, and so would he probably. So, have a good one.